they have this incredible dance and it's about stamina, I think, the kind of paddling and, but also the mimicking of each other. I don't know what they're proving, it's brilliant. We're trying to work it out at the minute. Uh, the hooded grebe is a very iconic, very emblematic species. Maybe not to the world, but yes, to this part of, of Argentina and Patagonia. It's an endemic species just to this province. And many people around this area feel very identified by this species. And uh, it's, it's also magnificent, a magnificent animal. I mean, you just look at it in, in, in its evolution, in its, its courtship, its elegance, its mating, its call. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic species. For me, the thing that I've taken away from here more than the grebes actually is it's the grebes are amazing, but the passion they've inspired in the grebe guardians that we have here, they're such an inspiration to us because they've dedicated their whole lives to this place. And I like the way they're all taking different approaches. So Pablo with his education, um, taking his guitar, his guitar is amazing. It's a beautiful grieve guitar. And going around all the schools in a massive area, trying to educate people about the grieves and how important they are as a keystone species. Mm. You know, if you can save the grieves, you save everybody. Then you've got Patrick and Hobbs. He's gone off to America. He's trained up a dog, a Labrador, hunting for mink. I'm currently working in a program to help prevent the, um, the arrival of mink to the hooded grebe breeding areas and this is done by the training of dogs to be able to locate mink dens and be able to trap these mink and prevent them from going up to the plateaus where the hooded grebes are breeding. They're such a unit, the two of them heading off. They spend it all night out trying to find a mink. There's a mink two kilometers away and Patrick is gonna get that mink because if it gets out and comes up here, that's the colony over. Protecting the hoodie grebe is not only uh, giving us the possibility of not losing such an amazing species, and nowadays thanks to our work of protecting the hoodie grebe, we're also protecting many other species and different landscapes in Patagonia. <laughs>